this can be a very, very precious instrument for us because we are roaming the oceans and to have a view underneath the surface, that would be a breakthrough for us. It's just an underwater world, especially when, uh, when you use the movie mask. It is like diving. It is just an incredible thing to do. To have one of those drones, yes, as a clear yes and three capital letters. We manufacture or assemble everything in house. Only after passing all the undersea rigorous tests, the drone is ready to be shipped. Thanks to 3D printing, we give full shape to our project, what we think we can design and mold. Biofolin is the proof of how alive the sea is. Unicellular and multicellular organisms take root on every underwater surface and grow. Unfortunately, on the hulls of boats, cause loss of speed and increase the consumption. Just 5 mm of vegetation can cause an increase of 20% of hull consumption. Nowadays, many remedies are offered on the market. The most use toxic paint in order to slow down the proliferation process. Cleaning and painting is a very expensive process. Every year, millions of boat owners spend money and time to clean and paint the hulls of their boats. Hillcraft is revolutionary. It solves the problem by acting on the effect and not on the cause. You can use it where you want, when you want, without moving the boat. Kill Crab is already a reality, is it not a dream? The greater the order, the louder will be the signal of change on market. Thanks to crowdfunding, we could move from a manual production into an industrialized production. The increase in markup allows us to invest many resources in research and development in order to enhance our products in terms of quality, cleaning capacity and automation. The team is really motivated. We will never stop until every boat will be cleaned by our drone. Hillcraft, the first underwater drone with iPad and Droid control for cleaning and inspection of your hull. Fast, essential, safe, green and user-friendly. Starfish is an underwater quadradiver robot that can search, grapple, and retrieve objects from up to 300 feet below the surface. Starfish can be used to explore the underwater realm, retrieve items lost overboard from your boat, and even anchor a boat to an underwater mooring. Starfish is controlled using a standard tablet with the USB or Bluetooth for communications. It has positive buoyancy and therefore can be deployed on the surface of the water while the system is made ready for use. The four thrusters operate in the same manner as those found on Starfish's airborne cousins, the quadrocopter, allowing the unit to maneuver and hover underwater. An onboard camera feeds video to the tablet, and the simple tilt of the tablet will maneuver Starfish in the desired direction. Unlike airborne quadrocopters, the Starfish umbilical allows unlimited search time down to 300 feet below the surface, something amateur scuba divers cannot easily achieve. After grappling an object, the umbilical is wound in by hand or other means to retrieve the sunken treasure. Starfish is the brainchild of the designers at Sheertech, a small four-person industrial animation and design company based in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada.
I grew up in the Great Lakes area of Ontario, Canada, and there are thousands of shipwrecks. And I wasn't a scuba diver at the time, so I was looking for something that would really allow me to get into the story and see the shipwrecks from below. It all started one night when I dropped a flashlight off my boat in Lake Huron, and I said, you know what we really need is a robot to go get that. Started out as a bit of a joke, but then I really got interested in the concept and the idea of having it. learned that a lot of the suppliers of the components to build ROVs and underwater drones were really priced out of the market. So we undertook to design every piece of the Deep Trekker DTG2 ourselves. This allowed us to make a low cost but still high quality product. Both of the ROVs are made of cast aluminum bodies, so they're really rugged, built to last. We were international out of the gate with our first purchase order coming from a fish farm supplier in Norway. So we have such a spectrum of different people using it for different things, things I never even imagined when we first started the company. We have scientists out there collecting data with our ROVs. We sell ROVs to military, we sell to commercial and salvage divers, underwater archaeology, environmental agencies and research, and of course we still sell to people who are just interested and curious about what's below the waves. Our manufacturing and testing processes have come a long way since the beginning. We have a very rigorous quality control and testing process. We have specially made pressure tanks right in-house so that we can test every single unit that leaves our shop at up to a thousand feet of pressure in a simulated environment.